Hi everyone, this is Russell Lowe speaking, and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create a composite image using uh, stuff from, or assets from uh, Illustrator, actually we should call these vector graphics, and some hand drawing uh, from, uh, well I guess, <laughs> from me. Uh, and we're going to do that uh, in Photoshop. So, uh, what I'll do first is I'll just turn off maybe this one here, turn this one back on again, turn that there off, and actually that's on a different layer, isn't it? So uh, the north point I'm going to grab first, zoom into here, just drag a selection around it, select it all, go uh, Control or Command C to copy it, and then let's go over to Photoshop, let's create a new uh, document, uh, 5400, by 1080, uh, go enter, and then uh, control or command V, uh, paste it as a smart object, and then you can see it's just come straight in there, but easy at the moment, uh, let's put it, let's put it down, oops, sorry, I've just selected its pivot point, let's put it over the big document, I won't have to scroll over it when there's more, oh, I've just done that again, that's the pivot point uh, of how to rotate the object, oh, keep doing it, okay, let's just accept that, and it is there, it might be easy to, Yeah, okay, bit hard when you're working on such a large object, uh, such a large canvas to begin with. Uh, if I hit this uh, button here, the zoom tool, it'll take me, double click it, it'll take me to 100% uh, and that looks nice and clear, which is what you want to be uh, keeping an eye on. There we go, we've got one thing in. Let's go back to Illustrator, zoom out a little bit and uh, let's turn off all the titles now. Uh, all the shadows, yeah, there we go, and uh, maybe the pedestrian movement as well, let's get rid of that, so we'll do something with that later, I select it all, control C, same deal, cross to Photoshop, uh, I'll just select that so it's not on the zoom function, uh, control or command V, smart object, uh, grab a little bit, in Photoshop you don't need to hold down uh, shift to scale it uniformly, go OK, lovely so let's uh, bring in something a little different this is a JPEG uh, this might be a photograph or something uh, you can see it's a it's actually a plan of Rome uh, let's make it a little bit bigger like that and then uh, let's put it underneath the uh, the plan that I drew in the other uh, tutorials on Illustrator that's fine. What I'll do, this is a smart object um, now, so it lets us edit it non-destructively, but in fact I want to uh, destroy it a little bit. So I'm going to right click on here and go rasterize the layer. That just turns it into straight out pixels. And now if I grab the eraser tool, I can start erasing things. So let me zoom in with Alt, middle mouse button. And so rather than it looking like just a big, just a big uh, block that's sort of sitting on top. I can give it a bit of shape. Sorry, I'm doing this a bit roughly because uh, once I've done this, you can sort of get get the idea of it, and you could go through and be much more precise and make a nicer. make a nicer sort of version, but you can see you can start to maybe sculpt this thing out so that it doesn't look quite so collage -y, just stuck together. Uh, so there we have that. Let's go back to uh, Illustrator. I'll just select this stuff this time. Control C and then, oops, sorry, back to Photoshop. Uh, Control or Command V same deal, you sort of get the point, 
by now, I guess. Uh, if I hold down shift, I've just rotated it. This is just that part there, so maybe we just wanted to look in uh, to it in a bit more sort of detail. Uh, let's chuck that up there, accept that, and then uh, select the move tool so I can move it. Let's go uh, control, uh, control or command C to copy it and control or command V to paste it. And then let's uh, actually just drag those handles so that it sort of went in the exact opposite direction. or we'll line that up with, say, this little part in here and that little uh, corner there. Lovely. And so now we've zoomed in to one part of our plan. We're looking at it in more detail so we can see the interior spaces. Let's uh, bring in the hand drawing now and scale that one up. You can see that uh, you can see that it's just gone and stuck it straight over the top. Now that's not uh, it's not really what I wanted to do. But firstly, let's uh, adjust its level. So remember from the earlier tutorial, oh, we'll accept that. From the earlier tutorials, I can go and down here into, I'm just waiting it for it to give us a tooltip, a new filler adjustment layer. Go, uh, let's say levels. And in this one, we'll clip it just to that level below. So it doesn't affect everything down here as well. I just want to adjust the levels of this drawing here. Uh, so we'll go up to the top here and you can see I can make it darker, so I'll make it a little darker and the, the key thing is to make it a bit lighter and as I make it the top end of the levels a bit lighter you can see that it's getting rid of the smudgy background. Now you'll need to use a decent scan so that um, so that it doesn't really remove too much of your line work whilst trying to get rid of this blurry stuff. Um, but uh, uh, but a better scan will do that, so you don't get the um, crappy sort of blurs in the background. Uh, that's good. If I move it across here, though, you can still see it's covering up everything in the background. So if I go down uh, to the layers, and I can change it from normal to multiply. And what multiply does is uh, just takes everything and multiplies the pixels. And you can see now, I can see things through it. Uh, it, it's just sort of just the lines are pasted over the top of everything. Maybe I'll just make it a bit bigger like that. And you can see it's going over the top here. You can do that with stuff from Illustrator as well. So let's uh, turn on the pedestrian movement and turn off everything else. Select all that stuff. Control C or Command C. Back to Photoshop. Uh, Control or Command V to paste it in there. Make them a bit bigger. You can see here, using Alt and the middle mouse wheel to scroll in and out, you can see here that it's just covering straight over the, I'll accept it, but it's covering straight over the top of everything. So if I go multiply with this one as well, that's a bit nicer, right? It looks like it's sort of a bit more integrated. But you could try some of these other ones as well, like uh, Darken or... Uh, what else? Overlay? Oh, it almost disappears with overlay. Oh, look, it changes the colors a lot if you go difference. Subtract. Uh, also different colors. Hue saturation. Just that. But multiply is probably the um, sort of the most useful for me. Can't really see much in here, can you? When that anything multiplied by black doesn't give you much. Uh, let's arrange that so my swirly bits. Uh, right on the uh, oculus of the Pantheon. So there you go, that's a few different approaches to uh, bringing images together to create a composite image in Photoshop. Thanks very much for watching.